Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Bye. Bye. I am so excited. It is a new year. We are in the year 2021. For today's video, I've been thinking about doing a good beat and some kind of an eyeshadow look. So that's what we're going for today. Okay. So to start off, we're going to be starting with our eyes. I'm going to be using this really, really old makeup palette. Um, Sun's Blazing ES4 Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette by Flower. Honestly, the rest of the lettering uh, faded off, but this is the palette that we're going to be using for our eyes. To start off, I'm going to be taking some concealer and using that to prime my eyes. And after that, I'm going to be taking a damp beauty blender and blending that out. And look at me, I'm already stuck with bad habits bringing it into 2021 because you know I got a old beauty blender. I did wash it. It's clean. It's just from it not being able to get all the way out over time. I'm going to do my eyebrows really quick before we do this look because I do like to do my eyebrows beforehand. And I'm just going to speed it up, but if this is something that y'all really want to see me film, then just let me know and I can film an eyebrow routine that I use. But I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished my brows. These are how they're looking. I two eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be going back and forth in between. And both of these palettes are drugstore friendly. They are really affordable so i definitely recommend them but starting with this maverick palette i'm going to be going in with the shade the second to the left and i want to be concentrating this on the outer part of my eye My nose is runny. I don't have COVID, but I do have a cold that I'm trying to shake off. I normally get sick around this time of year, obviously because it's winter and then just because my immune system sucks, like it's so bad. Going into this palette, we're gonna be going into this first shade here and then we're going to be packing that right on top, but not all the way up, but just making a gradient effect. So we're gonna start a little bit lower down. And you don't want to get so much on your lid because we are going to be doing a cut crease. So if you do get a lot on your lid, it doesn't matter because we'll cover it up. But the less, the better the cut crease will look. And going back into the first palette that we had, we're going to go back in with this shade here. Which one was it? The shade here. I'm just gonna go back in and add some to the top because it kind of faded away a little bit. After we've added the last two eyeshadows, we're gonna be doing a cut crease. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer to do mine. And a little trick that I've learned when doing cut creases is if you go ahead and put it on your eye like this and then you look up and then look back down, where it ends, is where your cut crease should also should be the top of where your cut crease is and that's how you know how high up to go so i'm going to be using that as my template and then i'm just going to go ahead and do like that and that's where my cut crease is i'm just going to speed through this part um if that is a video y'all want to see let me know because i can definitely film a cut crease uh just let me know Okay, so after you've done your cut crease, since this shade is in fair warm, you can tell it looks pretty bright. And so we're going to go in with those same shades that we were just using, and we're just going to pile it on top of it. So I'm going to be going back in with this shade here. And this one I'm going to be putting all across my eye because I don't like that white color. I want it to be more brown, so we're just going to be using this shade and putting it all on our eye. 
This is about the shade of brown that I'm wanting, so I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other eye as well. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with the other palette, and then I'm going to be using that same shade that we used, and I'm going to be using it to darken up this line that you see. You just want it to be completely blended. So I'm going to go ahead and use a fluffy brush and blend that to where it looks a little bit better. Okay, so next up is eyeliner, and I already did this eye. Um, I'm using the e.l.f. eyeliner. This is in the shade Jet Black, and I didn't do it all the way in my eye. I just did it from halfway to the end. If y'all want to see how I do my eyeliner, let me know. I can make a video on that. Actually, I think I might make a video on that anyway because I used to do my eyeliner all the time in high school, and people always used to ask me how I do my eyeliner. So yeah, be on the lookout for a video on eyeliner. But I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye right now. Okay, so the eyeliner is done. Next up, we're going to be applying our falsies. I'm going to be using the new pack. I've never used these lashes before. I'm really excited to use them. They're the Ardell Foam Mink Wispies. Um, I thought they looked really pretty, and I really like the Ardell Double Up Lashes. Those are like my go-to, but I wanted to try these because they're really pretty. And I'm going to be using my go-to eyelash glue, which is the is it upside down the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive Duo. I think this is the duo. It's not the duo. It's just a strip lash adhesive. I'm pretty sure this is a duo. It doesn't say duo on here, but like, I'm pretty sure it is. Let me know if this is something y'all want to see. I'm thinking about... I would love to film like an eye focused video where I show you how to do like your eyebrows, how to apply eyeliner, and then how to apply eyelashes. So if that's a video y'all want to see, let me know. I like that idea. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom through this part. Okay, I've added the lashes. I like them. They're pretty. Um, and then the rest of this makeup routine is going to be exactly how I do all my makeup, my current makeup routine. So starting off with primer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio Primer. And I'm just going to be putting this all over my face. And then after that, I'm going to be going in with the Baby Skin by Maybelline also. I'm going to be putting this primer on the places where I'm prone to crease a lot more, which is my smile lines. And my under eye. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Don't be judging the bottle, y'all. It's dirty. Once I use my makeup, it's not clean no more. I don't even care. <laughs> after that first time I open it, it's like no longer like looking nice and clean. It's dirty after that. But anyway, I'm in the shade Chestnut. So next up is concealer. I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And then I love a bright under eye, as y'all know. So I'm going to be going in on top of that with the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. And this is in 40 Medium. And I'm going to be using that same brush that I used earlier for our cut crease. I'm going to clean it a little bit. And then apply it to the bridge of our nose and our forehead. And then I'm going to go on top of that with this NARS because I feel like I didn't put enough the first time. I'm going to let this sit on my face for a little bit and then we're going to blend it out. So after we've applied our highlighting concealer, we're going to be going in with a contour concealer. This is the ColourPop concealer that I'm going to be using today. And I'm not even going to put this on my forehead. I'm just going to be putting this on my cheeks and then blending this out. For our setting powder, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Honey Powder.
Next is my favorite step of all, which is bronzer. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. This is in the shade Mahogany. Okay, so after that, we're going to be spraying your face. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I forgot to add blush. I still want to add blush because I feel like because of this eye look, blush would just be really, really pretty. So we're going to add blush still because I want it. And I've used this so much you can start to see the bottom, but I'm just going to be adding that. Mixing it in. Oh, it's really pretty. Okay, now this is with the blush. I think this look definitely needed the blush. I like it. We're going to be applying highlighter. I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. This thing is like honestly like broken because I use it so much. But this is a highlighter that we're using. Do y'all see that? So pretty. This is drugstore highlighter and like I haven't used another one since I've been using this highlighter. Because I just really enjoy it. I do. Okay, so I wiped off all the makeup off my mouth. This is what my natural lip color looks like. And the only thing that we're going to be doing today is lining our lips with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. As you can see, um, I've lightly lined my lips with this lip liner. I'm going to be going in with the Morphe Lip Gloss in Boho. And using this. And that completes the look. I'm going to go ahead and take this scarf off now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I went on ahead and took my scarf off. My hair is still wet, like super wet. It's not dry at all. But I wanted to show y'all the final complete look um, with the makeup done. And I'm going to go ahead and go get dressed now. But I really hope y'all like the video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.